Hi, I'm Rob from HopZine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time something I've been looking forward to drinking quite some time. I tried to buy it in Belgium. I saw it in one shop and I thought, oh, I'll see it, other, I'll see it somewhere else, a bit cheaper. And I didn't. I haven't, I've been waiting for like over a year to find a bottle of this. And it recently turned up in my local bottle shop in York. And it's a bottle of Rodenbach's Caricature Rouge. It is a 7% ABV beer, so a bit stronger than a regular Rodenbach. The difference between this, obviously a Flemish red as the regular Ronan back, this one uses um, brewed with uh, macerated cherries, raspberries and cranberries, which is a little bit different. As you can see, it's actually a, a plain bottle, but apart from this beautiful, it looks like it's got kind of like a wax seal on it, it's not, it's just printed, it's lovely kind of label and cock and cage. Remember a couple of years ago seeing Peter, Master of Hoppets, review this and he went crazy for it, so ever since then I've been wanting to try it. So let's get this open. I'm a big fan of Rodenbach. The Grand Cru is a stunning beer. So when I heard about this I knew I had to try it. See how it, see how it behaves. Just get the cock out. Ooh, nice pop. So spewing out of the glass, which is nice. Probably a decent amount of this. I'm gonna share this with my wife. She likes to sell beers. Do look I do like a Flemish red. That's Flanders Brown Ale. <clears throat> so, beer in the glass. I'd say a bit more pe a bit more kind of pink than the regular road and back. It's a lovely kind of um yeah peach nectarine it's a it's definitely red but definitely with more of an orange thing going on the head thin fizzy kind of it's got a pink hue to it like um, candy floss <coughs> i mean it looks great so let's give it a I, I got a little slight preview there of that i wanted to stay back but let's give it a swirl and a sniff i can't wait to stick my nose in this beer that's beautiful. Ah, oh, so different. Yeah, the kind of regular, regular road about very sweet. The um, Grand Cru, a bit, a bit more kind of burgundy-like, maybe a bit more, I always say balsamic vinegar, sour apples, that kind of thing. This, you're definitely getting a load more of that. You're getting a sugary sweetness, like, um, like um, Victoria icing on top of a cake. There's a, there's a something that reminds me a little bit of um, if you got strawberry flavored toothpaste. That's really prevalent. Yeah, it's kind of maybe like fresh mint actually. Yeah, toothpaste weird. But you, along with that, you're getting a lovely amount of um, lovely cherry. Yeah, cranberry. Maybe not getting as much of the um, raspberry, but the cherry and the cranberry are very much. Up front, yeah, there's the sourness and the sour apple thing going on. Maybe with more kind of red wine, white wine, vinegar thing going on. Not as heavy as, as I said, with the balsamic you get from a um, <coughs> Grand Cru, which I think is a stunning beer. But yeah, it's so interesting. It's got this lovely mintiness to it. What a lovely smelling beer. I think Rodenbach traditionally is aged in kind of uncoated wood. Again, oak. I don't know what kind of wood they use. It's been reading in my um, probably slightly out of date for their brewing processes. My old Michael Jackson book. It's like a full, full, big old page about road and back, which is essentially a um, a copyright. So you can't, can't say road and back like or road, road and back type. Definitely Flemish red. But that that kind of toothpaste thing. It's lovely. It's it, there's a sharpness. I'm gonna say. I think it might a bit more sophisticated to say um, fresh mint and cherry and cranberry. It smells remarkable. It smells a lot fresher than you would from the average kind of rodent back. So let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, that's magnificent. Mm. Nice effervescence, 
keeps it moving along. It's not fizzy, but it's got a, it's got a little bit of something about it. Keeps it zipping along. Ridiculously drinkable. Mm. Initially, sweet fruits. It's definitely all those three I've previously mentioned: cranberry, raspberry. Maybe a bit more raspberry and cherry in the flavour up front. Yeah, there is a sugary sweetness, but not a gloopy sugariness. Oh, you might get it from the regular one. Lovely fresh fruit flavour about that. Maybe um, nectarine, peach. Um, there's a, there's a, definitely a big um, lemon sherbet, because that fizz of sweetness of, of sherbet. Tarts of lemon. Definitely those vinegar notes. Once again, it's maybe a milder balsamic, but definitely along those lines of something like a white wine, maybe a red wine vinegar. Mm. Definitely that Flemish red, without a doubt. The back end, you are kind of um, reminded with those kind of slightly um, candy floss notes. Um, sweet red apple. But those fruits really bring a lovely kind of clean freshness to it, which you might get with the other two, the Grand Cru, bitter, sharp, cutting um, cutting citrus, a lot more oak, I'd say in that. The, the regular one, sweeter, very much kind of sweetened for quite a, a mainstream audience, I'd say. And this takes both components of both those beers and adds this lovely new level that moves it towards something a bit more like a creek or, or a lambic or a nice framboise. But we're retaining all those lovely characteristics that you really enjoy about sour Flemish reds like this. Very nice indeed. <laughs> yeah. Something special, very much well worth the wait. Not despite one of them. One little bit. That's a bottle of Rodenbach's Caricature Rouge 7% ABV from Rodenbach Brewed at the NV Palm Brewery in Roselaire in Belgium. Stunning stuff. Gonna be enjoying this for the rest of the night. Don't know how long it lasts, it's so damn drinkable. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobbsine.com. See you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.